topic is partners in the struggle, and we're talking to uh, Mr. Earl Jordan and Ms. Clemmie Greenlee. And of course, uh, Mr. Jordan, I think we promised that uh, uh, during the uh, final segment, we'll give you an we would give you an opportunity to talk about uh, some of the real problems dealing with drugs and mm -hmm. gangs within uh, these communities that, in many instances, prompt right. all of this uh, uh, gun violence that we're talking about. Let's talk about it from that well, perspective. Well, that's basically it. You know, I think that um, here in Nashville, that we're getting a we're getting a population there of, of gangs mm -hmm. here in Nashville, um, and the drug activity that leads with some of these young men who are affiliated with gangs, mm -hmm. I figured it's causing a lot mm -hmm. of the murders and gun violence that's going on. Um, we must talk to the young black males. Mm -hmm. It's going to take myself, Ms. Clemmie, and yourself to say, hey, you know, go to these young men who are in the schools that may be troubled mm -hmm. to say, hey, you know what, put these guns down, mm -hmm. put these dope packs down. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the only, only, only for sure life that you're gonna lead when you're on the streets is your death. Mm -hmm. Basically, that's what's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. um, that is what I see. You know, I work in the school system here in Nashville. Mm -hmm. uh, some of our children who are in the schools are affiliated with gangs. Mm -hmm. And I asked them, I said, will these gangs love you when you're incarcerated? Okay. Mm -hmm. when the, will, will these gangs love you or mm -hmm. help out your moms when, you know, she may need some food on the table mm -hmm. or what have you? You know, don't get caught up in this gang mentality because what it's doing right now is taking a lot of lives. Mm -hmm. And when you have violence, you have drugs or what have you, you're going to have death. That's going to be the, the final analysis mm -hmm. with all of this. Mm -hmm. And so I think we need to address this from, you know, the, the, the governor's standpoint, the mayor, mm -hmm. chief police, who I think is doing a good job. Mm -hmm. You know, I know he's getting a lot of, 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 of flack over his son and things of that nature, mm -hmm. but he's doing a good job. He's doing everything yeah. that he can, yeah. but it's going to take us mm -hmm. right. to make sure that we can right. crack down mm -hmm. on what's going on in mm -hmm. our community, mm -hmm. you know? And, and that's, that's where it is, you know? And when I come in or when we come in, it's just to say, hey, you know what? Mm -hmm. We're going to put that voice mm -hmm. where the voice wasn't before. Mm -hmm. And when we speak, you're going to hear us. Mm -hmm. And that's what Partisan Struggle is all about. Well, you know, you, you mentioned uh, the fact of gangs in uh, Nashville. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, did not the uh, uh, police department say that there are no gangs and there's no gang activity or no gangs in Nashville? That these, are, I mean, uh, and I say that because it seems that you're working right. within the area, right. and whatever, and you right. have a done it, and you believe that uh, we've got a lot of gangs uh, well, in, in Nashville that are acting in concerted efforts to do what gangs do. If they stated that, then I don't know because I've seen several situations where they say it may have been a gang situation. Mm -hmm. So. Maybe they did, maybe then I know for a fact these are what my kids talk about, the bloods mm -hmm. and the crips. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You know, and that's not something that you uh, learn on Sesame Street. Yeah, these so you, you are, you yeah, this, yeah, this is, yeah, this is you know, the rags that. and the whole nine. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. and this is what our children think that life is supposed to be about, uh -huh. a rag that represents, mm -hmm. you know, blood and crips. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at my life right now and say, when I was growing up in the 70s, you know, I was able to go outside and play mm -hmm. and have a good time. Now, if you go outside and play with today's society, knowing it may be a gang situation, that's another life taken mm -hmm. with this straight bullet that they call. Mm -hmm. And it shouldn't be that way. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't be that way. My kids ought to be able to come outside, my son and my mm -hmm. daughter mm -hmm. ought to be, out, be able to come outside and play mm -hmm. without worrying about a straight bullet coming mm -hmm. from somebody else. And then the media, excuse mm -hmm. me by saying, well, they were at the wrong place at the wrong time. Mm -hmm. That's a misprint. Mm -hmm. If my children are in the confines of their home, mm -hmm. they're at the right place. Mm -hmm. These young men who are out here taking the lives of our loved ones in the wrong place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't be that. It shouldn't mm -hmm. be out there with guns and pulling the triggers and taking that's lives. Right. Uh -huh. That's right. Uh -huh. And that's, that's the bottom line. Well, now, now uh, uh, most, uh, quite a bit of this activity, if, if not quite a bit, because I think that there's uh, gang violence and murders and, and right. all over the city. Mm -hmm. But uh, the newspapers see, seem to have uh, sort of single out public housing mm -hmm. as uh, the place of focus because a large number of these uh, uh, murders have been c committed in wow. public housing. Mm -hmm. But we're talking about less than, uh, according to the, less than 5,000 folks. Is that, is that what mm -hmm. we're talking about? Mm -hmm. We're talking because, well now, in other words, 5,000 folks in real sense are held hostage uh, by, by these gangs and mm -hmm. this kind of activity? Mm -hmm. is, it, 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 Violence is gonna come everywhere. Not just, who, was, who would think that something would transpire on the campus of Tennessee State University, mm -hmm. Dr. Mm -hmm. We never thought that. Mm -hmm. But these were young men who was out to get somebody that night. Mm -hmm. You know, it could have been public housing, it could have been Bear, Bellevue, Brentwood. Mm -hmm. Violence is everywhere now. Mm -hmm. Don't single out public housing. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is just an easy target for these young men because that's where they hang, that's where they do most mm -hmm. of their drug mm -hmm. It's easy, you know, mm -hmm. it's easy. But at Tennessee State University where Mr. Ping, life was taken, 
that's unacceptable. Mm -hmm. So it's not just in public housing, and I, I don't want that to be the key. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. everywhere. Mm -hmm. Gun violence emerges is everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's to the point now, you know, we got to be almost looking behind our backs. Uh -huh. You know, worry That's about right. am I next? That's uh -huh. right. You yeah. know, and it shouldn't be that way. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't mm -hmm. be that way. So I, I don't want. I don't want to say it's just in public housing. Mm -hmm. it's not. Uh huh. Right. And, and and of course, uh, and, and of course, I, I don't wish to imply that, but right. I, I am saying, this that, saying. That, that this is right. uh, a small element of right. the population. But for all of that violence to come out of it, well, now, do you think that it, it, it's anything that uh, uh, can be done to deal with uh, the uh, drugs and, and and gun violence? in the areas where it occurs. I mean, what can, I mean, these are so many emotional kinds of things and it's, it's very, very difficult to, to, to stop a murder when, it, when it's based upon emotions and right. except, but, but, but what can be done? I mean, what do I'm, we go, where do we I'm go I'm gonna say here? something and I'm gonna let Ms. Clement come in. I mm -hmm. think where as a community, if you see someone in your environment, in your neighborhood selling drugs, call the police. Okay. It's easy as that. Uh -huh. Call the police and say, hey, you know what? I pay my taxes, uh -huh. this is my house. I don't want no drug dealer mm -hmm. right next to my door. Mm -hmm. You need to come and find out what's going on okay. and evict these folks or whatever you do, mm -hmm. police, department, or what have you. Mm -hmm. And then next it goes to our children who are making these decisions. We need to reach our children and talk to them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We need to talk to them. That's it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pass it to Ms. Clover. Okay. Oh, she uh -huh. got something she may want to say. Mm -hmm. Well, the only thing I want to touch base on that right quick is the uh, only thing we can do as a community is come together and mm -hmm. accumulate a lot of more opportunities and a lot of more programs mm -hmm. for the, the youth. Uh, the CEO of Galaxy Star, which is Mr. Lonnie Greenlee, he says his best. Mm -hmm. They're not going to put the guns in the packs down mm -hmm. and go work for a $5 job mm -hmm. when they make $500 an mm -hmm. hour. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if we get together and, and think of some opportunities and programs for them, mm -hmm. which uh, he had came up with a 10-year plan called OFC Opportunity for Change, mm -hmm. and it's just waiting for somebody to come and see it mm -hmm. and develop it. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't have enough buildings for them to come into and see, well, if I decide to give you this gun in this pack, what you got to offer me? Mm -hmm. Can you send me to college? Can mm -hmm. you give me a scholarship? Mm -hmm. Can you help me get my GED? Can you teach me how to be a dad? Mm -hmm. So that's really the basic uh, answer. We as a community, the society and the system have to come up with more opportunities and more mm -hmm. programs for them. What if I take 15 people off the corner today? Mm -hmm. Where am I going? I, I got a place to put them, but what am I going to do to them the next day? Uh -huh. Do they have a class? Can I just send them to a Vanderbilt now? Mm -hmm. Can mm -hmm. I t put them in TSU class okay. now? No. Mm -hmm. So uh, more opportunities and programs mm -hmm. being developed. Mm -hmm. How do we know that they won't quit mm -hmm. if we don't put some kind of opportunity mm -hmm. in their face? Mm -hmm. yeah. And looking at all of the holidays that's coming up now, we have a lot of kids, including my three-year-old mm -hmm. okay. son, Jaquan. Mm -hmm. Sullivan. I have to say his name because mm -hmm. he's a victim now that's going to grow up without a father wow. mm -hmm. and he's already asking, where's my dad? So mm -hmm. the community, the system, the media, some of the... Uh, the black churches. The black churches. Got to get in there. Amen. Some of the black churches. Mm -hmm. We have to come to out and take a calculated risk mm -hmm. on some of these kids. Mm -hmm. They quit worrying about their pants hanging down, the braids in the hair, mm -hmm. the grill in their mouth. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we need to do mm -hmm. to love on them mm -hmm. so they can love on themselves so they can quit taking mm -hmm. everybody's mm -hmm. lives. No more situations where mm -hmm. the black churches are afraid to come out. Mm -hmm. Bring church to them. Mm -hmm. You know, a real thug, yes. mm -hmm. he's not going to come to the church. Uh -huh. okay. You better right. bring the church to him. Okay. Right. You know, and that's what needs to happen. And I think once we break the core, and this is what Adrian Dixon's mom, Regina Hawkins, said about the two men that murdered her daughter. She mm -hmm. said when these two young men came into the, um, the situation where mm -hmm. they was murdered, they came mm -hmm. to the night court, she was just saying how cold and hard their hearts were. Mm -hmm. You gotta channel that with love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of these brothers don't know what love is. Mm -hmm. If you walk up and hug them right now, they may just break down and cry and say, I want your help. You. Mm -hmm. you know, sometimes that thug mentality is just a front because yeah. they need yeah. love. Mm -hmm. Mother and father in the home, so yes. they don't know how to react. Oh, yes. mm -hmm. And this is the part of our problem with our black men, mm -hmm. our little boys. Mm -hmm. And and we, we got a job to do. Mm -hmm. We got a job yes. to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, but, but I think that, uh, that that's a good start in terms yes. of dealing with the job, right. and that is to identify the problem. Mm -hmm. Do you think that it's a problem that, uh, uh, and of course we need more programs, yes. as, uh, as Ms. Greenlee has pointed mm -hmm. out, but, but it's a problem that, that, that could be solved by just with, with well, not with just with love, love is all. Right. Love, mm -hmm. But you're saying right. that if we start showing more concern yes. in reference to what these young people are right. doing and, and stop criticizing mm -hmm. them, that perhaps they might drop that uh, hard exterior yes. that they have yes, and be willing to come yes. by and, and, and we can deal with them. That's right. Because mm -hmm. they won't help. 
-huh. They want help. Uh -huh. They want help. They want help. They want help. Mm -hmm. Early on, when the young lady lit in apartments was shot on her porch, we all met up, and Brother Earl was there along with uh, mm -hmm. my pastor, which is Pastor mm -hmm. Lando Westbrook. Quick. And anyway, he was there, and mm -hmm. he would tell you he's a hood pastor. Mm -hmm. He would come out and love mm -hmm. on you. Okay, and of course, and of course uh, uh, Ms. Greenlee and Mr. Jordan, let me thank the two of you for coming by and bringing us that excellent information. And let me encourage our audience to tune in again next week for another informative edition of Comics. Thank you, and good morning.